well, this next video you can probably just read if you want to watch and follow along. Um, we're going to go over some nerves and arteries that are usually they're named together by the bone or the region. But this table is going to show some exceptions to this. And this is actually quite high yield, which is why I'm going through this. In the axilla, the nerve is going to be the long thoracic nerve, and the axilla is the armpit. And then the artery is the lateral thoracic artery. Um, and then when you go to the surgical neck of the humerus, which is where the humerus is up here, this is the neck, you have the axillary nerve. And the artery associated with it is called the posterior circumflex artery. Um, next is the mid shaft. Again, you, you kind of remember all this. Remember all the dam how we injure our nerves, so we, at least we know the nerves. Remember, dam damage to the surgical neck was axillary nerve, damage to the mid shaft was the radial nerve. And the artery associated with that is the deep brachial. Now, the way you have to remember this deep brachial is you remember that radial nerve also goes deep. Remember, we have to keep drawing that dashed line of that radial nerve. It's because it's going deep, so it's under that biceps. So that artery is also deep. It's called the deep brachial artery. And I'm emphasizing that because at the distal humerus, it's just the regular straight-up brachial artery. And that's right here. Okay, so that's the regular brachial artery, and that's with the median nerve. Remember, median nerve it gets damaged at the distal humerus. And finally, we're going to go to the lower extremities. Uh, we're going to go to the popliteal fossa, which is the knee, basically the back of the knee. Um, it's the tibial nerve. Um, remember, we had the Baker cyst injury or knee injury. And the artery here is the popliteal artery. It's so very simple, very easy. Um, and then this tibial nerve is going to track all the way down. It actually tracks with the posterior tibial artery. And it goes actually behind the medial malleolus. So this is the medial malleolus right here, this little bump. And this is going to go posterior to the medial malleolus. So that's it for our nerve and artery pairings that don't go by name.